Hi everyone, this is Roma from TheLogicalMusician.com here in Puerto Escondido, Mexico. Now, this video today, I'm going to show you guys how to make samples and import them to your mix into Logic. Um, what I mean by samples is getting any sound that you hear on the internet, if it's not copyrighted of course, and obtain them, record them, and put them in your mix. Now, you're going to need to download two programs. One called Soundflower. Let me show you guys what that looks like. Now I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to download Soundflower for Mac. This is where I downloaded my Soundflower program from. Okay, you're going to want to download Soundflower and a second program called Audacity. Audacity is a free recording program, so you guys don't have to worry about buying anything. Okay, this is where I downloaded my Audacity. Alright, so I already downloaded those programs right here. I actually have my Audacity open right now. Now, the first thing you guys are going to want to do to make your own sample is find whatever sound you want to do, where, I mean, whatever sound you want to obtain and capture. In my case, I'm a big Mega Man fan, so I said, what the heck? Let me make a Mega Man sample. This was a whatever video. I just clicked one of the Mega Man videos. I, even, I haven't even heard it. Um, I'm going to get whatever he's doing right here. I'm going to be able to get that sample and put it into my mix. Now, what you want to go, do second is you're going to want to go to your system preferences. Now, when you go to your system preferences, I want you guys to go to your sound and you're going to click Sound Flower. Now, I'm not going to do it because you won't be able to hear me anymore. Once you, once you set up how I'm showing you how to set up, you're, you're not going to be able to hear any sound from your speakers. So, once you do that, you're going to go to Audacity. And you're going to open Audacity's preferences. You're going to want to go to Recording. Right here is his device. You want to put Soundflower. Okay. Now, you're going to want to go to your video or wherever you want have your sound, what you're gonna do is play it. Now you're not gonna be able to hear any of the sound coming out because it's being routed straight to Audacity. Now you won't be able to hear anything, but Audacity will definitely record it. While you play your video, and while it keeps playing, you're gonna to want to push this record button. While that video is playing, Audacity is gonna record all that sound. Now right here I have about a 30 second sample. Okay, once you've done all this and you have your recorded sample right here, I'm going to teach you guys how to import it into Logic now. Now, what you guys are going to do, you're going to want to go to Export as Wave. Now, I already saved my Mega Man file. You're going to want to name it what you want. Okay, save, blah, blah. Okay, I'm going to close my Audacity. No, don't want to save it. Okay, I'm going to close this right here. Now I'm going to open Logic for you guys. Let's go to new empty project file. Yes, sir. Create. All right. Now we're going to want to open an audio track. Oh, an audio track. Mega Man. I'll put it as. Oof. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now, what, we, what you're going to do now is you're going to go to your audio bin. And the way you, you can import a lot of any, any sound files that you have into your audio bin, but right now I'm showing you guys how to use Soundflower and Audacity right now. So you're going to want to go to Add File right here. Let's add this file. Now you're going to want to go to Search. Put, I'm going to put my Mega Man. It's right here. Click it. Add. Now you have to push this little X button so you can import it. Once you push that, this done comes up. So you can push done. Now you have your Mega Man sample and your audio bin. Now what you're going to just do is you're going to get it from here and drag it right here. Now let's see how this sounds.
Cool. See? I just imported a sample that I found on the internet. Well, I hope this has been very informative to you guys. I'll see you guys later.